A few weeks ago, I bought a Smart Carb SC2. The main reason for me to buy this one uh, is that uh, the temperature here in Thailand varies a lot over the day. In the morning, we can have about 12 degrees Celsius and around 9 a.m. it can be 18. And then when you come to noon, it can be over 30 degrees Celsius. So that affects, of course, the performance of the bike. And it's not that easy to dial in when you have to change many times. And also, the manufacturer says that uh, this one should be 25 to 30% more fuel efficient. And that is really great because I only have the 6 liter fuel tank on this one right now. So to increase efficiency would be very, very good. And they also say that it could give up to 10% extra power. I really don't need that, but that's just a bonus. So to be able to ride in these different uh, temperatures that we have here and the humidity is crazy, uh, during the day they can be like 55 to 60% and then when, in the morning and the early evening it can go up to a very fast to 100% or 99% humidity. So that also affects the performance of the carburetor. So, and I really don't like to do jetting and stuff, it's just a hassle. And, to do that all the time depending on the temperature. So for me, I hope that this can uh, do a little bit better performance on the bike and uh, I have to do less maintenance and uh, jetting and stuff like that. So we'll see. This is the 36 millimeter and uh, they have uh, 38 and they have 34 too, I think I ha they have. But this is the one that they recommend for this bike and it should be pretty straightforward to install it. It should fit well. The only thing that I have to carve a little bit in the, in the air box because there is a inlet here that needs to be totally open. Okay, I will try to film a little bit of that too when I install it. So I will try to do it now and let's see what happens. So I'm going to start to uh, take off the stock carb and um, most likely I can do it without taking off the subframe. I did it before, so it shouldn't be any problem. But uh, maybe I have to take uh, the subframe off anyway when I have to adjust the air boot a little bit. So I will just start now and uh, take away this and see how the new SC2 fits. The bike wasn't running very smoothly before I started to do uh, this carb change. And uh, if you will see on these pictures here, I can say that there is some strange stuff in the fuel here you see i don't know if you can see from these photos but on the needle there is some layer of uh, i don't know what it is so that is not that strange that it didn't get enough fuel because i had to run it on the show and uh, we can also see that uh, the fuel line wasn't very good quality it's cracking here so it's good that i'm changing now so that one was not good quality and there is something in the fuel here in thailand i guess or if it is like this all over the world now let me know in the com comments if you know what it is and uh, what i can do to not get this in the carb because uh, that's not what i want so now i'm about halfway i have uh, installed the carb and uh, it fits really well it's a little bit between okay you not see that now but between the carb here and uh, the engine so there is a couple of millimeters so that's not a problem but as you can see we got off the subframe and because uh, i needed to uh, carve a little bit in the air boot so uh, it is completely free for this intake here and it wasn't and uh, that I kind of knew because it's like that on uh, a lot of bikes so it was much easier to do when I took off the subframe not sure if it will be visible here on the camera but up here oops up there I uh, carved off around maybe two three millimeters and so now it should be it's free for the intake there so now it's time to assemble everything and see how it goes. So then I'm uh, ready, finished with uh, installing the smart carb. And uh, as far as I think it fits really well. And there is uh, plenty of space between the engine and, uh, and the carb, so it shouldn't be any problem. The only thing I need to do is to get a longer hose here because this one is not long enough 
And now I only have one more thing to do to see if it starts. That's a little bit important. So let's try that. Okay. So now we have come to the moment of truth to see if it starts. Smart Carb, they recommend that you uh, have the choke on when you uh, open uh, for the fuel so you can fill the float ball. And I have had it up for a couple of seconds, so I guess it's uh, full now. And uh, let's start. Try at least. Whoa. It started on the first one. Okay, it started on the, the first press. That was so much easier than with the stock carb. And the Smart Carb, they recommend to not do any adjustments until you have been uh, riding for a few hours. Uh, maybe I will adjust the, the idle. idle. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Uh, <laughs> the idle, because it was uh, very high now, but maybe when I uh, turn off the choke. So let's see.